erythrocyte sedimentation rate ESR is a key indicator in blood tests that can offer insights into inflammation and certain health conditions. If you've ever wondered about the significance of ESR levels, what's considered normal, low or high, and how to interpret these results accurately, this video will get you useful information without wasting your time. Let's understand various ESR levels. Normal ESR levels. The normal range for ESR can vary depending on factors such as age, gender, and overall health. ESR measures the rate at which red blood cells settle at the bottom of a tube over a specific period. Generally for men, a normal ESR is considered to be up to 15 mm per hour, while for women, it's up to 20 mm per hour. It's crucial to interpret ESR results in the context of individual factors to determine what's considered normal for a specific person. Low ESR levels. A low ESR may be considered when the rate falls below the expected range. Low ESR levels can be influenced by factors such as a high red blood cell count, low plasma proteins, or certain medications. While a low ESR is not necessarily indicative of a health issue, it's important to interpret it within the broader context of an individual's overall health. High ESR levels. An elevated ESR is often an indication of increased inflammation in the body. The expected range for what is considered high can vary, but generally, values exceeding 20 mm per hour for men and 30 mm per hour for women may be considered elevated. High ESR levels can be associated with various conditions, including infections, autoimmune diseases, example, rheumatoid arthritis, inflammatory disorders, and certain cancers. ESR is a non-specific marker, meaning it indicates information without pinpointing the cause. Factors like infections, autoimmune diseases, and age can contribute to high ESR. Conversely, a low ESR doesn't guarantee good health. Conditions like polycythemia vera can be a cause. ESR is useful, but not a standalone diagnostic tool. It's most effective when combined with other tests for a comprehensive evaluation. While ESR is often elevated during infections, it's not always the case. Factors like the test timing and infection type can affect levels. As mentioned, ESR does not pinpoint inflammation's cause. And in some cases, tests like C-reactive protein, CRP may be more indicative. Healthcare professionals use a combination of factors for a comprehensive assessment. If ESR levels are abnormal, Consult a doctor for insights and additional tests. Consider age, gender, anemia, pregnancy, fever, medications, and chronic conditions in interpreting ESR levels. Understand health holistically. ESR levels are one aspect. Discuss medical history, symptoms, and additional tests needed with your doctor.